Hello! Today I would like to demonstrate you the new and improved uh, Bona deformation feature for Synfig. Uh, if you remember earlier this year we have demonstrated a new way how to use bones to apply deformation for bitmap images. And now we have improved it and uh, today I would like to demonstrate how it works. Here I have a constructed character and uh, we have its parts and uh, a deformation layer applied on top of it. You can see I can move uh, this hand and it moves like cut out here. We have uh, a very nice deformation. And here. As you can see, I can move uh, the hand and uh, it can be overlaid with uh, other parts. I can do the same for legs. Well, like this. And uh, let's take a look at the initial setup. Uh, the initial setup is looks like I put separate parts of character into a significant distance and then I put uh, the bones on top of them. Then I define the influence area for each bone with those control points. And this makes sure that uh, each bone will will influence the particular area and the other uh, other parts will not be touched. For example, I can correct these uh, bones to make sure that the, it's centered at the right place. And now we'll get back to pose mode. And now this hand move this much better. And you probably can see that some parts of uh, the image are on top and some parts are below of the others. This is uh, because of uh, each bone now have a new property which is called Z order. Okay. Here you can see that the arm uh, goes uh, below his leg and I would like to have it on top of the leg. So I need to find a proper bone. It's probably will be this. And uh, I can define a Z, Z order for it. I can increase it. Okay. And now the hand is uh, on top of the body. So this is a basic demonstration and uh, now I would like to uh, have a, a quick demonstration how to set up the same image. So let's start from scratch. Let's try to cut this image into separate parts. Um, well, we can use a bitmap editor for that, but uh, here I will do this right into Synfig. For this hand it would be best better to use bitmap editor because we can draw something here but for this case I will proceed as is. Okay, 
and uh, today I'm too lazy to cut the rest, so let's just uh, proceed with the remaining parts. Okay, let's create uh, such a simple rig with head and hands. Okay, so let's add a new distortion layer, a skeleton deformation, and let's... Uh, well, you can see that uh, it's uh, already have uh, some areas defined and the larger the area uh, the more uh, the more space is took into account. The everything what outside of influence area is cropped. Uh, at the moment, it's not cropped very good, and it's uh, really defined on the mesh resolution. Uh, re really depend on the mesh resolution, but we will go and improve this in the future. For the moment, it will will remain like this. And uh, child bone for the head and uh, for hand. Uh, we have bottom parts cut out. Uh, because it is out of uh, influence area, so I will uh, create a special bone which will cover uh, remaining parts for us. Okay, now it's fine and uh, we can turn the influence area off and put everything in its place. It's rigged and influenced by the uh, influenced by the bone deformation, but the order of the bones is wrong. So we need to correct this. Uh, let's open the parameters and uh, let's find a Z order. Parameter, sub parameter for each bone, and now it will be better. Um, of course, for the future, we need to uh, create a better interface for ordering the bones, but for now, it is like this. Okay. Now our character is uh, rigged and uh, is uh, ready for animation. Uh, that's all what I wanted to demonstrate for today. Thank you for attention and goodbye.